Hello everyone. Welcome to the teaching show. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like it. Okay, so we are developing a course on process calculation. In this video, we will be dealing with material balance without reaction on batch processes. So let's see. Uh, first what is a batch process so till now what we had seen were continuous processes steady state or unsteady state in which what happens the material is continuously coming in and continuously going out so there is a stream or an input stream and an output stream now in batch processes what happens is uh, there is a reactor you charge it initially close the reactor and when the reaction or whatever you are mixing or whatever your physical operation which is taking place, chemical or physical operation is taking place within the reactor, nothing crosses the system boundary or the reactor walls. Okay, so there is no inlet feed. It is just charged initially and after that nothing crosses the boundary. Okay, and similarly there is no output. After a specified period, we just open the reactor and take out the contents. So, in this way, a batch process is different from a continuous process. Uh, for continuous process, we had seen that uh, you use differential balance equation. When you say differential balance equation, that means all the um, terms in it are basically mass per unit time. So that is the, the incoming feed, which is mass per unit time or moles per unit time, outgoing feed. Uh, outgoing product that is also mass per unit time and so on okay but in batch processes you use integral balance equation when i say integral balance equation it means that basically it gives you what happens between two instants of time for a batch process these two instants are um, charging of the reactor and then discharging of the reactor that is when the products are withdrawn okay now you will observe that if i charge the reactor and then close it and let the uh, reaction or any process uh, allow it to take place then with time the conditions within the reactor are changing so batch process is basically an unsteady state process okay let's understand how to develop first a balance equation for a batch process and then we will apply it to two examples in this video okay so let's take an example of ammonia synthesis let's assume that this is a batch reactor i'm charging it at time t equal to zero with nitrogen and hydrogen let's say the ammonia amount of ammonia is n0 initially and let that be equal to zero or n0 after some time when the reaction has taken place i open the reactor discharge the contents i get nitrogen hydrogen and after reaction some amount of ammonia is formed let's say nf moles of ammonia is formed Okay, so let's apply your general balance equation, which is applicable to any of the processes. Maybe it is continuous, batch, semi-batch. For any um, process, I can apply this general balance equation. So my general balance equation is input minus output plus generation minus consumption is equal to accumulation. In differential form of this balance equation, uh, you have seen that all these terms are per unit time. Okay. So, uh, or if I have an integral balance, then these terms, they are just the balanced quantity what you are taking. So, in this case, we are taking material balance. So, all of them will be either kg or moles or something like that. Okay. So, uh, let's understand this by taking, let's say, ammonia balance. So, since no ammonia crosses the boundaries, so input is equal to output is equal to zero. So, in our general balance equation, Input and output means the amount of material which crosses the system boundary. Since nothing is crossing after you charge the reactor, so your input and output, both these terms are zero. Okay, so then your general balance equation takes the form accumulation is equal to generation minus consumption. Okay, what is your accumulation now? Accumulation of ammonia is in the final amount which is formed minus the initial amount that is the accumulation within the reactor in whatever time we have allowed the reactor to run so my accumulation is basically nf minus n0 that means final amount minus initial amount okay so i'm going to put this value of accumulation again back in this uh, general balance equation and what i get is 
final amount minus initial amount that is the term which I am replacing for accumulation that is equal to generation minus consumption. So, my balance equation then becomes initial input plus generation that is equal to final output plus consumption. This is the same equation. I am just writing it in a different way. Now, for no chemical reaction, suppose this was just a mixing process, then there was no generation and consumption because no reaction is taking place. Okay. So, my integral balance on a batch process with no chemical reaction then reduces to initial input is equal to final output. Fine. So, this is the form of equation which we are going to use. This is an integral balance on batch process without any chemical reaction. So, let us just directly apply it to a problem of a batch mixer. Now, problem statement is that I am mixing two methanol streams. These are two aqueous solutions of methanol which are being mixed. Okay. First um, uh, stream is or I should not say stream because it is not continuously flowing. So, I will say uh, the first quantity is 200 gram of uh, 40 weight percent methanol and the second uh, mixture is uh, 150 grams of 70 weight percent methanol. So, uh, what I have done first is I have made again a flow chart uh, labeled it fully all the uh, streams uh, which were there initially. Okay. So, these were the initial input. Okay. So, I am now marking my initial input and final output okay these are not streams just take this, this in mind okay keep this in mind these are not coming in continuously or going out continuously this is my initial input this is my final output so for batch process you will always remember when i am marking these arrows i am saying this is my initial input this is my final output so initial input is this and final output is this whatever known quantity is i have labeled whatever unknown i am just giving it with a variable now let's see again we will do the same thing how many components are there there are two components methanol and water so how many independent balance equations you can write? Two. Okay. So, let us just write two independent balance equations. Balance equation takes the form initial input is equal to final output. So, I am going to write first total mass balance. Okay. So, that is equal to uh, M1 plus M2 is equal to M3. That gives me my M3 value as 350 grams. Then I can take either methanol balance or water balance. Okay. And calculate the mole fraction of the mixed stream which is coming out and it comes out to be equal to x3 equal to 0.5285. It's very simple. You can pause the video and take a look how am I doing it. So, this is a very simple problem. Okay. Uh, let's move to next problem of a tray dryer. Okay. Now, problem statement reads like this. You have 2000 kg of wet solids. It contains 70 percent of solid and it has 30 percent of water. Now, this is being dried by hot air in a tray dryer. The product contains 99 percent solids, okay, and the remaining 1 percent will be water. Now, water is removed from this tray dryer, okay. Now, uh, you might think that because I am blowing air continuously through it, so this will be uh, continuous with respect to air and it will be batch with respect to the solids which you are drying okay because solids are charged initially and then they are taken out finally when certain quality is met but air is continuously blown, blown through it and water is continuously removed from it okay so this is uh, if you uh, analyze this problem carefully then this is a semi batch process but right now uh, I am going to treat it as a batch process because I am not interested in the continuous flow of air. Okay. Uh, this problem with continuous flow of air, I will take in the next video where I will be dealing with semi batch processes. Okay. But right now, I am not interested in the air, which is how much air I have to blow through it in order to reduce the water content of the solid by this much. So, I am not interested in th that type of problem. What I am interested in basically is my solid only. Okay. So, right now I am going to deal this problem as a batch process. Okay. Uh, because 
uh, anything about airstream is not given so whatever the information given is only for the uh, material which is charged initially and which is taken out finally okay so i'm going to use this uh, use uh, only the balance equation for batch process and then solve it okay let's see so let's first so i have what i have done is i have made a flow chart uh, labeled it and um, i'm saying that this is the water removed the total water removed at the final point and i'm uh, marking it as m1 this is the uh, dried product which is coming out i have marked this as m2 initially 2000 kg is coming in so immediately i can write my overall balance that is equal to 2000 is equal to m1 plus m2 similarly i can write my solid balance and water balance okay so uh, out of these three equations we know that only two are independent balances okay so i have overall balance a water balance and a solid balance three equations only two independent and just take a look that that all these three are what these are integral balance equations now okay and uh, of the form which we had developed earlier that is input initial input that is equal to final output okay now what we observe is that water balance and overall balance they have two unknowns m1 and m2 so either i have to solve them simultaneously or i can start with the solid balance okay so just to make the things simpler what i will do is i will start with a solid balance quickly solve it simple mathematics m2 is equal to 1414 kgs using overall balance now i can find out my m1 value which comes out to be this okay so thanks for watching this video and uh, please don't forget to like my channel and like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much